Oh, chaos. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not what I'm on the fucking day one map. Is there a busker buzz in fumble? I've got no idea. I didn't know one in grenade. I just saw that he was back and broke twitch. <laughs> that's why it was that's why it was on my mind. the toss and therefore probably the game <laughs> winning the game winning the toss might have been alright you know with, uh, with being able to pound him but getting pounded first really fucking sucks you can be my wingman anytime bullshit oh glory you can be mine thanks BZL What did you buy me, Jimmy? <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing. Isn't cool, but thanks for staying fantastic. <laughs> ah, so that's Frogman. Hello, that's Frogman. Glorious. Hey Jimmy, glad to see you back in HD. Thanks for teaching how to play Blood Bowl so I can bang my head on my keyboard on a daily basis. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're very welcome. Or is it maybe two? Emily. I don't know, Twombo. Thank you very much for staying fantastic. And <laughs> That is pretty much what what Blood Bowl entails, yeah. <laughs> oh, an extra reroll. Oh god, his team's terrifying, isn't it? Doesn't have piling on though. So there is that. But the fact he's even got guards on the warriors, holy shit. Just a slow Norse team for this game. <laughs> Exposed him, hasn't That is that is the nature of being a new recruit, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's a it's a very swear-inducing game, isn't it? Oh well, only three AP breaks.
Wasn't that a bad follow though? Because if he hadn't followed, I couldn't have blitzed him, and now he's just letting me blitz him. Got the guard in now. Now he's protected. That's nah, a good start for him, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, though, isn't it? It's the nature of the online. The online kind of part of it. Bit different to playing with real humans, isn't it? All I can do is just line up guard and hope it's hope it's alright. Only be one. No, it's not really good, is it? He was 55% to knock me over, and then just over 50% to break AV. So it was a good turn for him. It wasn't really good for me. Stop being shit. This is the horrible thing, the fact he's got three guards in his warriors means he can actually play a bit normal. I don't even know what the sound is. I know I know that uh, I know that the guy says it. The only you lose I know is uh, Ben Stiller in Dodgeball, which I enjoy. Well, he's he's fought fire with stupidity, so might be able to do something here. <laughs> All right, bad luck. I like it. I like it when. Uh, when Ben Stiller in and Dodgeball goes, you lose. Because he gets the power. What the fuck <laughs> Yeah, Kes are pretty shit, low T. Pretty lucky this game hasn't been just just quiet. Fuck. 
fucking shitting me. One day soon if I get him in there. Might as well. Conceding here would probably save a lot of time and pain, wouldn't it? Doesn't he, Busco? This is just Busco Paz rather than Busco Pants. But uh, yeah, maybe it's him. Oh. <laughs> Best skills, Claw. <laughs> Mighty blow piling on. There's not about conceding King's Row. Only if you're some kind of <laughs> knobhead. <laughs> Would you care about whether you concede or not? It's, you know, it's different in a, in a like, in an actual schedule league, conceding's a bit shit. But, in here, in this game, conceding is the best play. This is just literally the best play here is to concede because I'm not going to win. I'm going to get all my players killed. It's like. It's just stupid to not concede. But the thing is, I've used two concede on the woodies. Might want to use more concedes on the woodies. So. Yeah, exactly, oh, yeah, yeah. Because the dwarves would have conceded already, that's why. It's not the one that I want to qualify with, but I might have it I might have to. I might, not, I might have to. There's still there's still a chance with necros and there's a chance with the woodies, but you know, it's not like Beggars can't be choosers at the end of the day. I'm, I'm going to struggle to qualify with anything, I think. Now. You don't need block as well as this guy proves. If he got block, he wouldn't have got the knockdown. Anyone? He might have even got a block down by not. He might have even got a knockdown by not having block there. He's just got too many men for me to hit now, hasn't he? There's no fucking players. He's <laughs> just straight up. <laughs> Let me one dice the ball, hasn't he? Uh, not that it fucking matters. I gotta do one die and two dice the ball. Cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is why TV Plus is shit. Because, you know, this guy's terrible, clearly. And But I can't outplay Claw and Mighty Ball, can I? I just can't. Literally can't outplay it. My team gets ruined. Um, and even if I was to win somehow. So fucking what? My team's ruined. It's just, it's just fucking stupid, isn't it? The match is so much more fun and interesting, yes. No, he isn't, he isn't shit then. He's done pretty well, actually. 68% win. Thanks, Johnny Five. But he played shit there, didn't he? Alright, 15-9-6. I was going to say 5-9-6 being top under all the go for that. Yeah, dwarves are horrible. You've got to play them the first week. Um, otherwise, you're just going to be down TV versus Claw, and there's no, there's no way you can, um, there's no way you can, there's no counterplay, is there? <laughs> also, I spoke with Full Gear 2, please. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Wood Elves and Skaven can outplay this, can't they? And try to do something, but Dwarves are just like, yeah, just hit me with Claw. That's, that's all, that's all their, their only option is just hit me with Claw and out muscle me with more strength and guard. And it's, it's not good being down TV with, with Dwarves, really. Yeah, this is the real the real problem with dwarves in general. I mean, TV plus this this match didn't happen because of TV plus. It probably just happened because we were the two people spinning. You know, I'm not I'm not like a cons conspiracy theorist nut or anything, but um, this is the problem with TV plus. Isn't it? Is that there's no no amount of good play stops me getting wrecked by Claw here. And plus there's the two TV plus things, isn't there? There's TV plus matching, which isn't anywhere near it. Like, full TV plus is horrific, and I think would be the end of Blood Bowl. But TV plus matching isn't that bad. Core isn't that good of a skill. It's just, it's, it is, it's that good of a skill against uh, dwarves. It's just the nature of Bash. It wouldn't even be the case if it was dwarves. It was like dwarves versus dwarves. If the other guy had, you know, 100 more TV or whatever, 200 more TV, then you can't play around his extra guard and mighty blow. There's no, there's no skill involved in, in having, you know, kill skills and guard and stuff. It's just the nature of bash teams in a, in a matchmaking environment, really. Mighty blow guys, just do nothing. Yeah, exactly, Crystal Hunter. Yeah, that's the thing, it's just bash versus bash. It's not so much the fact that his team hard count as mine. The, the, you'd still have this problem if it was orcs versus orcs or whatever. Or chaos versus chaos or whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's real good, yeah. Yeah, I think the Jit Skin did have a journeyman, yeah. Yeah, inducements inducements can absolutely make up for for skills in in the agility game, right? Because you've got a wizard and stuff that can do stuff, but 
Bash is a lot more, you need the teams to be kind of even to, for skill to decide it, can't, can't you really? The wizard can still turn, I could have scummed the wizard. Um, I could have scummed the wizard, it would have been more chance to win obviously if I'd had a wizard. But. I mean, I mean, this isn't terrible. I've used my extra apple and still got eight players on the pitch. He's slightly running out of time. Ah, the classic one dies pal. That happened eventually. He sustained these these got stand firm guys sustained a fair amount of two dices. Yeah, bash playing bash is pretty pointless unless unless you cram all your games in at the start. Especially like Necro, especially getting Cheney is amazing. Lizard men getting silly Billy. Obviously, they don't like playing Claw, being Town TV again. No one really likes being Town TV against the Claw team. But, um, well, no hybrid teams really do like it. But, uh, Well, you see more variation at the top just because it's the nature of the format, isn't it, as well? Thought you would have uh, just done the two plus handoff after picking it up. That guy as well. <laughs> right, stand him up so if he wants to serve me. Okay. Yeah, it's a function of the cup format more than anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Might stop the score here. Might do.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go, yeah. More bitties for the cup, Jim Chi. <laughs> ah, well, that works. That's good. Thanks, Thor. No, I wouldn't. That's a. I think that's a bit of a falsehood, Crystal Hunter. Um, but I think the teams have to be kind of evenly matched for the better player to have a good advantage. I mean, I've won plenty of games down to you as Bash. And, you know, with worse teams as Bash. But, um, you know, I've won games that have been out Bash with Bash. But, you know, it's obviously harder. I mean, Claw is its own its own thing, though, isn't it? Really, you know, like especially Claw Pom. He hasn't even got Claw Pom, so this is this team. Although it's it's kicking my ass, it's not as scary as if he had Piling on as well. Two dodges in a GFI. Two dodges, two GFI. Nah, no, I think there's there are there are, I think there is a lot of room for players next to pure bashing. Yeah, no, I really don't think, I really don't think that the one having the best armor rolls usually being the winner. I think if you look at my record of Bash versus Bash, I've won more than I've lost. If what you're saying is the one who has the best armor is being the winner, then it would be about 50%, wouldn't it? But you're right in that all of my Bash teams will have a closer to 50% record than Wood Elves or whatever. Yeah, once the team's reaping, yeah, it's, there's no way, I think, I think the, the best player usually wins in bash, in bash games, I do, I think it's a simplifi a gross oversimplification to say whoever gets the most armor breaks wins. Man gets revenge on school bully by sleeping with his mum. <laughs> <laughs> Rob added there was no chance of a second date. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh shit. <laughs> So all I can do now is try to 
bash somebody. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! Yeah. He's got no reroll, so he shouldn't make any blocks, should he? Nearly stopped him scoring. What would be good is if he double scores or triple scores here. And it will serve him right for making the block. With no re-rolls. Yep, there was no reason not to. He scored, hasn't he? You know, just don't, didn't want to get in front of him. I would have GFI'd to nullify the assist if he if his warrior didn't have go. But seeing as his warrior did have go. <laughs> KO stay out. <laughs> Classic. I mean that wasn't so bad to be fair, I could still get a draw out of it. Only used one apple. Might get one of these back and still have eleven for the second half. Just huge coin toss, wasn't it? Because if I had if I had won the toss, if I had won the toss and maybe you know made the made the removals he made on turn one, um, maybe it could have gone okay. Maybe I shouldn't have played for the ball. Maybe I should have just dropped back and refight. It was hard to try and make a fight. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Well, you say it actually happened on toast. It was just a radio show. So, on the fake news scale, they're going to be pretty high, aren't they? I mean, not that I never believe anything, but I never believe anything.
Oh, he stays out. Good, he's on 10 men. 11 versus 10! <laughs> lads, boys, lads! Greed Fucking is good. hell. Greed is right. Greed works. So might be able to get a draw. Got a completion for him, so one one away from from leveling him. Now I think the pass was a six, but the pickup was a two. True scroll, dude. Oh, so can blitz him. Him, so that's okay. Hit him with a blow of might. And another one. Yeah, boy. Seventy five per cent knockdown. Ooh, got him. Now don't pick the skull. Very important. Do nothing to him. Good. Oh my god. Didn't I followed up there, didn't I? I didn't mean to follow up. But I did the classic one dice uh cast, so that was alright. Didn't mean to follow up there. Never mind. Greg's Valentine's Day meal, no way. Yeah, that's true. Up there. Yeah. Greg's off for a Valentine's Day dinner, man. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate Valentine's treat for the Greg's fan in your life. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Past these donuts and lots of cheese, the menu is really a special. <laughs> wow, as if that's a real thing. <laughs> Yeah, Valentine's Day thing in Germany, it's, um, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, though. <laughs> yeah, keep it Monday. Yeah, there you go, Johnny Five. <laughs> yeah, it's called, it's called, it's called keep it Monday in Germany. Yeah, that's true about KROs, yeah. Alright, it's got to, I've got to apple this, haven't I? Move on, turn one. Nine versus eleven now. So, well, eleven versus nine. So, I've got half a chance.
Base mighty blow, that seems an intelligent play, well done. <laughs> Thanks, Crystal. <laughs> Alright. I think this guy's a lost cause, so I'm trying to blitz him. Block him. Buddy, it was a good choice to base him for no reason. Oh, you're very good, very well played. You are smart. One dice him. Oh, I don't like this follow. Could one dice then one dice? Could go for the, just the dodge first. Could one dice then he could go there and he. Uh, a bunch of one dice seems shit, doesn't it? Don't get hit by claw first of all. Good. One dice him, one dice him, one dice him. You could one dice him. I really hate doing these. But he's just going to two dice me if I don't do it, so. This is the bad thing about assisting with a door with a troll slayer, wasn't it, with his armor right? Ah, the thick skull made up for his armor right. So that was good. Fucking die. Good. Just stood him up first. Right. 
get forward a little bit. Could foul him, I guess. Seems a bit dumb though, doesn't it? Get Maggie Broad. Blood sure feet. Oh, yeah, I don't like blood sure feet on that. It's really shit though, isn't it? The horns. The horns on everybody means that you just can't stop the two dice. Claw hits coming in. Very annoying. Versus Hey, well done, seven toll face. Fucking hell. Taking two guards out of the game there. Very nice. He need my mighty blow to fucking take some people out here. Yeah. Good. Just like that. He can just get punched again, I guess. One of the PS4 Xbox For games For fuck's happening. sake, Tony! Stop being shit! <laughs> I think there's one on Wednesday and then two on Thursday. Um. <laughs> Hello, Molly D. Uh, yes, well, now that I'm back in Germany, of course. Um, yeah, I'm back to having a real life, yeah. Crazy stuff. Yeah, Shag Fagos, yeah, indeed, Wolf Fag, yeah. It's 9 pm, so that's 10 for me. A chopper. I guess I'll, I'll, guess I'll try and cover them all. That's a Wolf 
Shall I find out when they are? That's an idea, isn't it? Um, I got told 8 p.m. Have you changed it? No, no, 10 p.m. GMT. It says 10 p.m. GMT. He's got, we've got good and known Thursday. Wait, when's Kaz playing? Oh, Thursday. Oh, so you changed. All right. It was 10. It was Kaz versus Glass Weds 10 p.m. So now they're all on Thursday. So it's... Um, <laughs> what I've got here is... Good and known. Uh, for some reason, it's in the wrong fucking order. Kaz versus Glass, Wednesday, 10 p.m. GMT. That's 11 for me, which is a bit late. Um, so probably won't do that one. Um, and then Thursday, we've got 10 a.m. iMedia versus Blade. Um, 10 a.m. Thursday, GMT. And then Gerd and Gnome, Thursday, 8 p.m. GMT. <laughs> it is wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, 11 would be too late for me to do. 11 my time. <laughs> yes, Astro Tower, it's really annoying, isn't it? Monty's little tosser, hello. It's really annoying that that, that, that happens. Yeah, the stun. Alright, so. First of all, I'm going to do this block and see what happens. Could blitz him and move around to here. It's always better to be in the center, isn't it? That's what the chess players tell me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Chess players don't tell me anything. But, uh... In, in the centre now, so that's good. And fuck all. Bit hairy though. <laughs> Tear night with a wife, or is it wet? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, it happens. It happens not just on. It happens on blitzes as well. If your opponent gets a blitz and stuns you, guy, you stay stunned for an extra turn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Chess players tell me they don't have audio as well. But um, I did read a, I did read a thing about chess, and it said controlling the middle is very, very, uh, very important. And I guess it's the same in blood ball, isn't it? You want to be. As central as you can, so you've got more options, and they've got a couple more field. You want to try and funnel your opponent into the sidelines so that you can restrict them more. Yeah, I really could have used a removal that time. Yeah, for sure. Ah, 
right, so I can chain this guard here to block. And I can blitz him and then block him, and then can get quite far forward. One, two, three, four. I guess he just goes in there, doesn't he? But maybe he's having a guard in there a bit better. This guy could go in there. So he could go there. GFI. Draw the blitz with him. I guess he just goes there then. GFI for him. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Horrible, horrible turn there, wasn't it? Those two pushes. He's probably got an easy two dice on the ball here. Uphill into an uphill. Probably not the best idea. Go for that. <laughs> for him. Maybe I should have just kept him occupied. But he could have always blocked him off, but he wouldn't have blocked him off. He would have gone for the, the mighty blow here. Yeah, he can get the ball here, can't he? Pretty easily. I really wish I could have uh, knocked <laughs> one knockdown out of three, you know. Wasn't, wasn't what I needed that turn. I mean, he's just got to stop me scoring to stop the touchdown, hasn't he? So he doesn't have to uh, sack the ball. I'm going to have to potato next turn, in all likelihood. Still stand firm is good there, isn't it? Keep them away from the ball.
So the play is the edge for potato, isn't it, at this point? I think he just blitzes and then he marks and then I pass to him. I thought I'd done a fucking dodge thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, pass. One, two, three, four, mark. It seems like the only thing to do. Maybe I could just hand off to him here. But I think it's good to be basing that guy afterwards. It's a, I've got a fucking roll. Really well. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass. This is fine, I'm using the rear arm and the blade straight away. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! Could have made the second G if I'd still be in range, now I've got the fucking. Uh, it's fucking impossible now, basically. Oh well. Amazingly, having loads more strength than claw is pretty good. <laughs> and movement. <laughs> I feel happier about this loss than the losses yesterday. The losses yesterday, I must have played shit. I don't feel like I played completely shit today. <sighs> yeah, it's the obvious blitz is the only bits to make, isn't it? Because if he powers him, then fuck. I mean, it's situational, obviously, because for a gutter runner, for a gutter runner, movement's the best, and for uh, some players, agility would be really good, but strength's the best, isn't it? Obviously. Like, if, if elves had strength for instead of agility for, they'd be way better, wouldn't they? Like, if you had 6 3 3 8 as your basic, and you could have a team of 7 3 3 8. Or six three four eight or six four three eight. You'd choose the six four three eight, wouldn't you? Um, but obviously, agility can be can be better. It's also pretty obvious that strength is the most important. Yeah. And kind of raw, raw stats or whatever. That I didn't it? Maybe I should have made that GFI though from him. There's probably a lot of people that don't know multi block stab blitzes don't work. Because if you you know if you just play the game and don't read the rule book. It's quite likely you're not gonna know that. Take an IG force, not me. <sighs> Maybe lands better. But I don't know if it's in the description. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. 
he can score actually. So the edge four guy could do a, a uphill surf and then hope for a good scatter. I mean, if you, you could you could custom make human teams, couldn't you, with all linemen, and then uh, give give some one team movement seven, one team uh, agility four, and one team strength four. And I bet the strength four one would be the fucking best team. just landed there, I could have got it. Pass it and catch it in tackle zone. I could imagine if it just landed there and I could have dodged, dodged away and picked it up and scored. That would have been glorious. Failed anyway. BG. Second, I made four removals to be fair. And he made three, but still. And one of those was on my last turn. But one of them was on his last turn. Still tough against the, He's just got so much strength, like with strength four blitz wherever he wants. It is actually pretty good, isn't it? Having strength on all of the beastmen. Although you can only blitz with one a turn, having the option of all of them being strength four blitz is, is, is powerful. To be fair, he doesn't have planning, he only had planning. And didn't have block on the guys. I really wanted to remove them, but didn't, didn't get the chance. Yes, Kovalak. See, this is the thing, I could have just conceded, and I would have had, ended up with exactly the same result as what I got. Um, but with no more danger, so I think conceding wouldn't have been a bad idea. And obviously I had a bit more of a chance to win. Could have won. Another day. I don't like conceding because I don't like losing. <laughs> but sometimes it is is the right way, isn't it? For the good of your team. But yeah, I, I probably had a decent chance of it as well. He didn't play bad on defence, to be fair. Seventeen AV race to seven. <laughs> yeah, that was always going to be tough. That one. Can't feel too sad about that. It's the risk you make when you play dwarves, isn't it? If you're down TV versus chaos, it's sad times. All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.